Hi Klaus. Hello. Uh, welcome in the interview that we are going to have about the hybrid degrees. Uh, actually, I got a few questions for you so we can understand better what the hybrid degree is. Sure, sure the way. Uh, first, I would like to start with what an AP degree is. Could you please explain us? Sure, of course. Uh, AP degree is a, is a special Danish degree. It's uh, also in other countries called an associate degree, advanced diploma, or something similar. Um, in reality, it's the first two years of a bachelor's, uh, three years of a bachelor's degree. Yep. So uh, we're getting started out, get a good foundation for your business degree with an AP degree. Yep. And is this a recognized diploma all around the world? Uh, yes. Uh, Dania, where yep. we're coming from here, is a a government-owned uh, uh, applied science university in Denmark. We are uh, fully accredited, uh, also in the European standards. Uh, so students go through this uh, degree, will get the ECTS European credit transfers, uh, which are recognized 100% in within Europe and broadly across the world. Great. Um, now, could you please uh, elaborate more about Denia Academy, how did this start and what programs do you offer? Yeah. Well, uh, Denia is a reasonably new uh, academy. It's only 10 years in the structure it is now. It's a, it's a merger between 10 uh, regional a academies in Denmark uh, who about 10 years ago uh, joined forces where Still, even that we are a merger between so many, uh, not that big academy, we only have about two and a half thousand full degree students, about three and a half thousand part time students, uh, spread across eight campuses, and that's mm -hmm. why we do it. But we also have a very, very strong focus on quality uh, and relevance in our education. And lately you have also initiated this uh, innovative um, degree that is called hybrid degree. Could you please explain us better what it is? Uh, well, uh, uh, there's a lot of things uh, within it and why it's a hybrid degree, but it's it's part of the, uh, the reason is that we thought uh, we cannot bring the entire world uh, to Denmark to study here in, in Viborg or in uh, other international campus in Rennes. But maybe we can bring some of the education to the world. Uh, and we've been doing uh, quite a lot of thinking about how we can get this special Scandinavian method of teaching out, uh, a method which is focused on well, uh, collaboration skills, uh, innovative solutions, uh, uh, developing new business uh, areas, and in general, being on the next level in, in business collaborations. So we created this hybrid degree, which is a combination of uh, internet-based uh, teaching and uh, meetups. And all of it is uh, planned to take place in the Great Asian uh, regions, but of course, if some students from Africa or the Americas wanted to join there, of course, welcome them, even though it will be a little bit long flight for them to come here. Great. But uh, why is it exactly called hybrid? What does it mean? Well, it's, uh, it's actually not my idea. Uh, I'd love to say that uh, I came up with the term, but it w one of the ways that we're working is with uh, focus groups, listen to the industry, listen to potential students. And uh, about a year ago, I had a, a focus group interview in Malaysia with a, a group of uh, students, and I was explaining what it was, and they said, "Yeah, class." makes sense and it's a good idea but this online thing that's that's a cheap education that's not really something for us but I said okay but what should I call it uh, and they actually came up with the term hybrid degree and 
the reason for them saying it was a hybrid is a, because it is a hybrid. It's a combination of different things. It's a combination of our uh, meeting in physical and online teaching. It's a combination of watching some lectures and caseworks uh, all the time. So we're trying to take the best of all the different worlds uh, within the further education. So we're rerouting higher education in terms of to get the best possible learning to give students the skills that they can go out and make a difference. That sounds very great. And but I also would like to forward another question to you uh, about the idea. How did it come up? Like, well, I uh, I myself have has lived uh, in Bangladesh for a number of years. Uh, it's a very interesting place. Uh, but uh, I also saw that the education system was very much based on uh, memorization uh, of things, and I thought, well, this we we cannot, uh, as an employer of a company, I, I have a business background, has been running companies for a number of years before, just like all the other professors uh, in this program. Uh, and we see what we need from a graduate is not someone who can memorize uh, the models, the skills. We need someone who can look at the world put it in a framework and come up with solutions, suggestions for moving our businesses forward. So that was uh, one part of it. We, we saw there was a demand for graduates that we could provide through this program. Uh, and then I went to our uh, uh, dean of the academy and said, hey, Anas, uh, let me do that. Uh, provide the education out there. Uh, was so nice to say yes. Uh, figure it out, class. So I spent a a year and a half uh, just getting the the government permissions in Denmark because well, we are the first uh, Danish university higher education who has ever done something like that. Uh, as far as I know, even the first Scandinavian. Um, so yeah. That sounds very exciting, but. Uh, it is an online uh, education, which is also on campus based. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a, this combination because we see that uh, online education, uh, having me standing uh, in front of a, a whiteboard, uh, writing down, presenting things in videos, that's it's nice, it's uh, it's okay, but it doesn't really teach you anything. You, you cannot really use it from that. So we have changed the model. Uh, we do work with things. We, so it's not a, well, sometimes I feel like uh, some of the online degrees, you could just as well, if you have a good YouTube channel, yeah. you could get it from there. And uh, I, I honestly think that is cheating uh, the students that you're charging for that. Uh, all the videos uh, that we're creating for this is actually going to be free online. Great, so some standout points, what the student will learn from this program, what would you say? Well, they learn how to do things, I, I think is the topmost uh, thing uh, within the field of business and marketing. Uh, They'll uh, get some collaboration skills, uh, working uh, internationally, cross borders. We are striving to have a, a cohort which is extremely international. They'll uh, have opportunities to tailor their education uh, quite significantly. They can uh, start with a year with us, then take a half year in, say, Italy, that they can take an internship in Canada, uh, go on to a top up in the UK or Korea, so they can get a, a truly international experience tailored to where they can excel. That's a very great uh, way of uh, doing education. Uh, that's why I was also uh, like to know as a student how will the students cope with this method as a, it is a new way of uh, getting an education? Uh, well, 
uh, it is a it is a new way, and it is a it's a different way of thinking working. It's closer to what you would experience in the corporate world. Uh, in the corporate world, you would never sit in front of your boss and being told uh, this and this and that. Uh, so we're moving it closer into that uh, area of real life. Uh, but we also know it's a learning experience. So we're focusing very much on allowing people to make errors and uh, building a framework around it. So when they do things which are maybe not so obviously the right thing to do, we will support them uh, in finding their way. And that's both from an academic point of view, but also from a personal point of view. And uh, through the support, is it only teacher support or uh, will you provide something uh, else? We, we, we have a, because we are striving to create complete people, uh, complete employees. Uh, Danish education and especially our education is not just about the academics. It's about uh, this, uh, well, leveling up yourself. Uh, doing something for yourself so you can move to the next level and we'll be looking at uh, we have this coach uh, this life coach who will support the process for the individual students uh, she'll be part of our startup and she will be working with the students individually all the way through the program and she's not referring to us so, so the students, they can, with full confidentiality, talk to her, say, okay, the professor uh, is so mean, he doesn't understand what I'm saying, and then he says, I'm, and, and that's okay. Uh, and, and she's only allowed to tell us if the student says, uh, tells her. Okay. So, so they have to explicitly tell her, hey, go and tell Professor Klaus that uh, he's doing something uh, in a way that does not make sense. Else, it's totally confidential. So, we also because online education like this is for a large part, uh, requires a lot of self-discipline. Exactly. Uh, and uh, that doesn't come out of the blue air. So we have her uh, to help each individual uh, schedule, plan, structure both their uh, study, but actually also talking about what's outside school. Like creating a community or? Uh, exactly, so we are working with this the term called hygge. What uh, does that mean? Well, <laughs> it's quite difficult to explain uh, <laughs> because it's a Danish word and there's no real good translation uh, for it, but it is a, uh, uh, well, you're a one of my students uh, from before, and a conversation like this could happen in a, a regular setting, because we have this uh, relaxed relationship. We can talk together, uh, we can exchange ideas, and uh, are respectful for each other. I respect your opinion and as you respect my opinion. And uh, we can stand in the hallway, drink a cup of coffee and uh, talk about the weather or uh, yeah. talk about uh, other stuff uh, also outside because it's this friendly atmosphere uh, of respect. Well, um, as uh, we heard until now about the education, uh, one of the most important uh, things is that uh, people are leaving jobs and their house and their country to get a better education. And uh, that's why I would like to ask about this one. How flexible it is as an education? Well, it, it is quite flexible. Uh, we have uh, uh, the daily structure. Uh, is so that we expect the students to be uh, present online uh, for 
one and a half to two hours. Uh, depending on the time zone for the student, it'll be somewhere uh, around noon, early afternoon. And that's the time where we will be going through the cases, uh, challenges, uh, which are coming from real companies. And the time outside that is where they can uh, read, watch videos, uh, work with uh, uh, other students on assignments and things like that. And all that can be scheduled for the students themselves. So in principle, you could have a part-time job alongside uh, a full-time study. So this is one of the advantages it creates, but what about career opportunities? Um, well, do they get support after this? <coughs> they do. Uh, we have a, a career uh, program. There is an internship uh, built into the program, and in that internship we guide the students. Uh, historically, uh, for our uh, programs at Denmark, we have, we have a 100% 100 success rate uh, for internships and we also see a good number of the students actually getting jobs in the companies afterwards and I think our graduate unemployment afterwards is uh, or graduate employment is 90 something percent so it's a it's a highly attractive skill uh, that we are providing in this program we are also working very closely with a, a large number of companies uh, which are providing the cases, the problems that the students will work with. The part of the reason for them doing that is, of course, also that they are hoping to employ yeah. some of these uh, students here. So that's uh, also an opportunity here. We have like Lego, and Maersk, and Lumpeg, and Jusk, uh, and brand uh, names, uh, but also the smaller startups, uh, which has an innovative business model. So that could be the next big thing. Great. And after graduating from AP degree, they have a chance of getting a top-up degree, right? Yeah. And uh, as I mentioned before in the, yeah. in the beginning, uh, the AP is the first two years of three years bachelor uh, degree. Yeah. Uh, so we take care of these ones here, and then you can go on to, say, uh, some of our UK partners, uh, Korea, China, uh, Canada, etc. We have uh, official partnerships with, well, close to 45 universities, which are uh, continuously open to uh, take out our students. There's even one way you can go directly from your two-year uh, AP into a MBA program because they know the quality, the competence of the students are so high. Uh, I don't have any extra questions, but I don't know if you have anything that you would like to add on top of this. No, I, I hope that I'll uh, see a lot of s students. We are quite confident that the skills that we provide uh, is the, the next generation skills, the model that we're using will give them something that will propel them to the next level and be able to make a difference. And that's what we hope uh, okay. for this education. Great. Then I would like to thank you very much for your time and for your information. No problem.